leaders in most countries are interested in policies that benefit their life chances, that improve their um, their economic uh, standing, uh, their income, uh, and um, their quality of life. And so I advised the um, that people who are interested in promoting independence appeal to voters um, views of um, how independence would improve their quality of life and their income. Um, so it's very important to uh, show people that secession does not have to be risky, uh, to reduce the uncertainty associated with the process, um, to adopt pro-growth policies for a new country so that investors have confidence that secession um, will have economic uh, benefits and um, also uh, secessionist uh, campaigners should show how the status quo is risky, that the status quo cannot, uh, cannot stand. In Scotland, um, this became an issue with the Yes campaign. They were able to show that um, the, the remaining within Britain was risky because Britain could withdraw from the EU uh, and there were no guarantees that Britain would transfer um, more powers to Scotland over issues like taxation, uh, welfare, um, uh, employment policies. In the end, the Yes campaign did not win in Scotland, but they were able to improve uh, the support for Scottish independence um, significantly uh, from the beginning of the campaign. Uh, so the lesson for uh, secessionist campaigners is to uh, focus on people's, if, if you will, uh, bread and butter concerns. Um, how is the, the new country going to fare economically? What, uh, what are you going to do about very specific policies? And having a, a credible plan uh, for um, a, the transition and for a future state uh, will help bring voters along uh, to support uh, independence.